Hello, everyone, and welcome to the University of Rhode Island Computer Science and Statistics. This week, we are talking about um, network security and securing CCP IP um, <coughs> network. So in today's agenda, we are actually going to learn how to secure and uh, do a few, set up a few configurations in our VIOS router. So if you look at the agenda, we're going to talk about the VIOS command line and the system shell. We're going to talk about user privileges and the different levels and different types of privileges that a user have. We're going to talk about the difference between an admin role of a user using the router and an operator's role um, using the router. Lastly, we're going to end by showing you guys how to actually create a user in your VIOS router. So the VIOS command line, let's talk about that a little bit. Okay. So the command line in VIOS has very specific commands for operating and configuring the VIOS system. The commands also provide the operating system in which uh, VIOS operates. So the commands provided by the operating system are the commands in which VIOS operates. Okay. So the commands you can execute in VIOS really depends on your user role. And if you look at the user privileges in VIOS, it's simple enough where you have two different types of users. You have an admin user, which can essentially execute every single command. And you have an operator user, which really is limited to uh, view, views, and you know entering and exiting the um, console. So what is the difference between the two? So the admin user, the admin users have full access to the VIOS command line. Admin users can view, configure, and delete information and execute all VIOS operational commands. Admin users can also execute all operating system shell commands and constructs, right? So the default user that you see when you log into your VIOS router is actually an admin user, all right? So to create an admin user, we're going to talk about the how you what type of command you need to issue and I'm actually going to display how to create that so let's show you how to actually create a user in VIOS so I'm gonna bring over my VIOS uh, router I'm gonna turn on the node so I can actually start my VIOS router and remember by default when I first log into VIOS I am an admin user so if I right click and I go to console my console is going to turn on so this is my VIOS uh, booting up all right and once it's done booted up I will be uh, logged in okay the default login for vials is vials vials right I am now logged in as an admin user in vials so how do I know that I am an admin user to be able to tell all I have to do is write show hosts right you actually go to configuration mode, show host, okay, or show user. All right. When I write show user, it will actually show me who I am. It's saying this is not a valid command. Let me exit this. I actually show user. All right. So when I write show user, so you have to be out of a uh, configuration mode to display the user. When I go out of configuration mode and I write show user, you notice that I am currently logged in as Vios Vios. So if I was to write show host, okay, it's saying that it's an incomplete command because I currently do not have any host that I've uh, created for uh, VIOS. So by default, when you first log into VIOS, all right, you are an admin user. You have admin privileges that you can actually um, set up, all right? Let me actually try this again. So it doesn't work. Okay. So how do I now create a user or an admin user, which if we go back, no, we know has all kind of uh, levels of privileges. All right. So to create an admin user, I am going to write set system. Okay. And well, you have to be in configuration mode. So you want to make sure you switch over from uh, operational mode to configuration mode and you know you're in configuration mode when next to your VIOS router you have the little um, pound sign next to it okay so I am now in configuration mode so to create a user I'm going to write set system okay and if you don't really know what kind of systems you can uh, set you can actually just type in help or press tab and it will complete it for you 
So I'm going to write set system user, and then I'm going to specify the type of user that I am going to create. So let's say I'm creating this for a big uh, financial firm who has a net computer network department. I'm going to create an IT admin position, and I'm going to give them a level of admin. Okay. So I just gave, I just created an IT user, and I gave them an admin uh, level. All right. What am I going to do next? Next thing that I have to do is I have to create or authenticate the type of password that that user is going to have or uh, need to use to log into the system. So I'm going to create an authentication, okay? Authentication, all right? And I am going to give them a password that is in plain text, okay? I'm going to give them a plain text password, and we'll talk about why Sometimes you want to be mindful and make sure that the passwords are not plain text. I'm going to create a plain text password for that user. Okay, so let's go back and make sure. All right, so for some weird reason, my uh, system is it's going over to the other line, but it's fine. Okay, because I'm just going to write it down in a word pad and then I'm going to just basically show you guys what it's going to look like. So I just set a system login user, the username is IT admin. Uh, the authentication for that user is going to use a plain text password, and the password is going to be password. And then I'm going to press enter. I have now created a user or an admin user in my router. So I'm going to type in commit to commit the configuration, and then I'm going to write save to save the configuration. I now have created a user, okay, that is an admin user that can log into VIO. So if I was to write show host again, all right, it's going to say again, show user. All right, I'm going, I have to get out of configuration mode when I write show user. So right now I am logged in as, uh, I'm currently logged in as Vios. So I'm going to log out as Vios to show you exactly what this is going to look like. Let me actually write show system host. It's the commit command doesn't want to work. So I'm logging out as uh, Vios, right? Because remember, earlier, if I went to log in, I could just type in Vios, Vios, and I'm logged in as Vios as an admin by default. So in order to fix that, okay, I'm going to log out, and I'm going to now log in as the new user that I just created. So I'm going to write IT underscore admin, enter, and then I'm going to write password to log in as that user. You notice I was now able to log in all right, as an admin user into my VIOS. So if I was to type in configure, you'll notice that I am in configuration mode and I'm currently logged in and I can do all kind of cool things in my system, okay? So if we recall correctly, all right, that is how you can essentially create what is known as an admin user. An admin user has really full access to the VIOS command line they can view, configure, and delete, and execute all different types of information in the router.